welcome back to my channel, Phoenix Creations. It's been like so long since I've done anything on this channel. You guys probably thought like I'm dead or something, but I'm like, is she alive? Is she alive? I know it's been like forever and a day since I've done a video and I'm super super sorry guys but I've been so busy that I cannot even explain. So many things are going on. Life is exciting right now and it's just super fun. So this video is a little bit different. It's actually just essential stationery that you know you guys might probably want or need or maybe even thinking of getting. And not all of them are compulsory by any means, like Copic Chow markers, a lot of you have commented on videos saying those are so expensive, like how do you expect us to get that bro? And I'm just like, I'm just like I get it, listen, I know some of this stuff is expensive, so don't be pressured into thinking that you absolutely have to get every single one of the items that I mentioned in this video. This is more like just a guideline of essentials that you can use if you should wish to. And then some are just really, really obvious ones like rubbers, sharpeners, rulers and all that shit. Before we jump into the video, I want to suggest a few different types of videos because um, I have a few in mind, uh, one being a Q&A video, maybe certain questions that you want to ask me about art, even if you want to ask me questions about myself, like where I'm from and what I'm going on with my life, <laughs> if you really want to know. So you can ask me a bunch of questions if you wish to. I just want to switch things up a little bit on my channel and do some new things because uh, I think it's just going to be fun to do some more fun stuff with you guys like mangas and animes and maybe some more talking videos and Q&A videos that you know you guys can really like get into with me so we can just have a bit more of an interactive space because that's kind of what I want for this channel and for you guys as well watching to like join in and you know get into this with me <laughs> so okay I think we should just go ahead right now and get into all the little essential items and that will be it for this video. I'm going to show you current tools that you need when you're going to be drawing and doing art and also some of the ones that I'm using right now and I love. Okay, so to begin with, um, a mechanical pencil. This is a pen towel and it is a 0.3 millimeter one and it is made in Japan. Um, I believe I got this for about eight pound from Cass Art Store. Um, I'm not sure whether Cass is a worldwide store but I think it is a European type of store so you will find it in most areas in Europe I believe. Um, so this is what I'm using currently. I do have a few other types of um, mechanical pencils. This is a Parker, uh, which I loved, but then didn't ever get any more lead for. <laughs> and in fact, I think it has a little bit still left in there, but I just stopped using it. This is another pen towel. And I believe that this is a 0 0.5. It's rubbed off there now, but I believe that this was actually a 0 0.5. Another great one and very, very sturdy um, and lovely. Um, but I'm using this one at the moment. That's my current go-to. And then, of course, you always... Oh, let me just move these few things. You always need your traditional pencils on hand. Um, I quite like my set of Derwent graphic pencils that I bought quite a long time ago. As you can see, the 2B has been a go-to, hence its little tiny little cute little side. Look at it. Oh, it's so adorable. <laughs> and then, um, of course, a lighter shade. And this is the 4H, which, you know, compared to the Derwent, this is the 2B. Derwent. And then this is the 4H. As you can see, it's such a lighter tone. So, you know, maybe really, really good for the initial sketching stages, this. But I always have my traditional pencils on hand because you just need. And I just love my pencils. I'm a pencil freak. And then with any good pencil, you need what is called a keshigomu. <laughs> I kept this on there because um, I just needed to remember really how and what exactly a, pen a rubber is called in Japanese. This is Enbitsu pencil and this is my little Keshigomu. So with every single pencil you need a rubber because what is an artist without an eraser when they're doing sketches here and there and everywhere. So yeah, here is the one I'm using right now and this is the one that I've got on standby. I can just crack open when that one has died out. So secondly, to go with our rubbers and all that sort of good thing and our pencils are fine liners. Now, one of my absolute faves is this. 
the Colpic Multi Liner. Everybody asks me in pretty much every video, what are you using? What are you using to line with? And it's a Colpic Multi Liner, guys. I know it's rubbed off, but that's what it is. This is how it looks, and it is amazing, honestly. Like I love, I love the actual. Uh, thickness of this it's perfect it goes with my pencil plus it's just the perfect thickness I think 0 0.3 mil so uh, yes I love it and this is the one that I use pretty much all the time but I have a few on hand that aren't really fine liners <laughs> this is really more of a pen really I don't even know what even you would call this it's not really a fine liner but I like to use it anyway it's got a nice extra thickness to it um, and you know a nice I just I love the way it feels as well it's got a nice nib uh, to it the end of it and this is a paper mate as you can see and I don't know whether that stands for medium or what but that's what it is and then the others are fine liners and I actually got this in a pack of different colours and um, yep this is the black and again it has a nice um, nib to it very 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 fine um, and you know creates a nice little line there as well so that is another little go to and I have a pack of them um, but I'm going to keep that out of the way at the moment. Uh, and then this is actually a calligraphy pen, which has recently become such an awesome fail of mine. I don't really use this. I use it very rarely because it's like a prized possession that my mate gave me. So yeah, this is another little lovely one that I've got in the collection. And what on earth have, am I doing? I've forgotten the all important thing to go with our rubbers and pencils. The bloody sharpener, because what are you going to do without a bloody sharpener, guys? Um, and then next up to go with our fine liners we always need these you know it's all well and good to sort of fill in your colour and to you know outline your characters and drawings and all that sort of good thing but what are you without one of these and it is a white gel pen and um, a white pencil crayon Faber-Castell and this what is this one I don't even know oh it is a hybrid gel grip um, I'm not sure where I got this from actually mind you guys maybe just online on Amazon or something this one I got from uh, Cass Art again a go-to art shop fave of mine and it's a Faber Castell and I absolutely love it um, and yes it's in the colour white obviously and these are just used to highlight and accentuate bits of my art um, you know I'll use and oh again with uh, to go along with that actually is my Winsor & Newton acrylic titanium white paint and it does the same thing it's to highlight and accentuate bits of my art and colours to make them pop um, you'll maybe want to do highlights on characters eyes or on their hair and all that sort of good thing so absolute must have okay and then the other bunch of really amazing things that I've got are these and you guys have probably seen them all the time everywhere because they are amazing <laughs> Um, and they are Copic markers. I love my Copic markers. Um, these are Copic Chows, which are pretty much all of my markers. And uh, these are in the colour Cardinal and Baby Blossoms, if you should be interested to know. I'll show you what they look like. That's the Cardinal. Oh, that's the Baby Blossoms. And I just love Colpic markers. They blend so well and they're beautiful and they're so wonderfully pigmented. So can't really do art without these little bad boys. And then to go along with those little bad boys is this little bad boy. <laughs> and this is the Colourless Blender. Again, Colpic Chow. And you just, I just feel like I need it. And it works the same way a rubber does. And um, sometimes if the colour is light enough, it will lift it. And even when it's dark, if you keep going on it, it will lift it. But um, really, I prefer this for blending and um, I don't use it as often as I should again. This is a new one, actually. The, the one that I'm using currently is tucked away in my pencil case. So that is another amazing little one. And where exactly would we be without our rulers, guys? Rulers are a must, must, must. Um, you just gotta have them on hand. So that's my little ruler there. And um, that pretty much sums up my essentials, guys. Of course, I have other things. I have, you know, water paints. I have water crayons. I have pencil crayons. I have acrylic paints. I have all sorts of manner of things. But these are like the essentials that I feel when I'm doing art, I just have to have them on hand in case I want to start colouring. I want to start blending. I want to start adding highlight. I want to define my pictures. You know, I want to switch up the types of pencils that I'm using. 
when I make a mistake, when my pencil goes flat. <laughs> These are the absolute essentials. And when maybe I'm, I'm you know, trying to not draw, draw a little curvy edge when I want things to be defined and straight. These are my absolute essentials, guys, and the things that I go to and I love. So, um, yeah, that's in case you're curious. And I bet you guys have all sorts of manner of essentials that you use too. So let me know, guys, in the comments what you use. That's about it, guys. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.